This week's Cow-Calf Corner could easily be subtitled What to Do When It Looks Like All Else May Fail. And what I'm referring to is the situation that we have in uh, the western part of Oklahoma, even southwest Kansas, where drought, of course, was the uh, problem that we were working with for several months that caused uh, short hay supplies, short uh, grass situations, and in many cases, some pretty thin cows coming through the winter. The option that I think we may want to look at in some of these situations is early weaning of this, the springborn calves, where we're actually removing the calf from the cow uh, in a, a time frame of when the calf is someplace between 45 and 60 days of age. There's been a lot of research done on early weaning uh, here at Oklahoma State University. What they looked at was uh, early weaning calves from two-year-olds, two-year-olds that were really quite thin, and also they, they followed up the following year and early weaned calves from mature cows that were in some better body condition. Those two-year-olds that are really pretty thin, coming out of winter, trying to nurse a calf. The research here at Oklahoma State found that it, removing that calf, weaning it between, uh, like we say, 40 and 60 days of age, really had a positive impact on the reproductive performance of those two-year-olds as they went through the following breeding season. With two-year-olds that were in the body condition score of three to four, that's very, very thin, half the calves were early weaned, the other half, uh, those cows were allowed to uh, raise them to a normal weaning age of about seven months. Those that weaned the calves early, 97% of them were rebred in the uh, breeding season that followed as compared to only 59% of the heifers that were still nursing the calves throughout the breeding season actually be becoming pregnant. So you see a huge difference. In the case of the mature cows, and quite frankly, they were in a little better body condition, a body condition of a four or five, uh, the impact wasn't quite as great. Those that were uh, allowed to normally nurse the calf throughout the uh, summer period into the fall, they had 81% of those rebred, not too bad. In the case of the cows that had the calves early weaned, these mature cows, all of them rebred, 100% of them in that particular study. What to do with the calf, of course, is the next problem. If you're going to early wean that calf at uh, say two months of age, getting it started on a good grain growing ration is going to be key to getting that calf through the, the summer period to where you again can market it later on, perhaps late summer, early fall, as uh, pretty close to the time that you would have weaned it and sold it anyway. There are some rations that have been developed here at Oklahoma State University that can uh, work with these very, very young calves. It takes a good ration, of course, to, to grow those calves when they're that young. You'll find them if you'll go to a fact sheet it's uh, called uh, Management Considerations for Home-Raised Preconditioned Baby Calves. So this spring, or perhaps another spring when uh, the winter hasn't been the way you would want it, and we end up with especially some thin young cows, early weaning may be an option in those very desperate situations. Hope this is helpful to you, and we look forward to visiting with you again next, next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.